This Terraflex Falcon Nexus EF 2.1 steering stabilizer is for those of you that have a 2007 and up JK that has the factory inch and three eighths tie rod that are looking for a replacement steering stabilizer that has a lot of bells and whistles and is very, very well built. Now, it's very important to note what a steering stabilizer or more accurately what a steering dampener is designed to do and what it is not designed to do. Something like this is there so that when you're driving down the road, you're driving down the trail, you hit a bump, it will absorb some of the shock that would otherwise come from the tire all the way up into the steering wheel that you would feel as feedback. This is not something that's going to be necessary to upgrade or change out your steering stabilizer just because you have a lift on your Jeep or just because you have big tires on your Jeep. In fact, a steering stabilizer is a luxury and not a necessity when you have a properly set up suspension and steering geometry. If you have a wobble, if you have death wobble, if you have any sort of bump steer situation, those are all geometry issues or other issues in your suspension and in your steering that you need to fix and not just try and cover up with a very expensive steering stabilizer. If you have fixed all those issues, your suspension, your steering geometry is all squared away, and you still wanna make the investment in a stabilizer like this, that's absolutely fine. But don't go to something like this to cover up issues. All you're going to end up doing is blowing out your brand new, very expensive steering stabilizer and still ending up with the same issues. All of that being said, if you do decide to go with something like this, it's going to install very easily onto your Jeep. Definitely a one out of three wrench installation, probably only about an hour or so. And I've said a couple times now that this is expensive and there's no getting around that. This is very expensive, especially when you consider an OEM replacement steering stabilizer. It could be anywhere between $30 and $80, depending on the brand that you decide to go with. This is gonna be above and beyond. If you have the budget for it, if you want it, it's here for you. This stabilizer, as I've said, is very, very well built. You have a lot of aluminum here. You have a uh, chrome plated piston. This has a oil and gas separator in line built right into it. So it does have all the benefits of being almost like a nitrogen charged shock, which is there to help keep the fluid in the shock from foaming and cavitating, which can cause shock fade, but you're not getting uh, the part of a nitrogen charged shock that you wouldn't want for a steering stabilizer. As you can see, I pushed this about halfway through the stroke and it stays there with a nitrogen charge. It would want to expand and that is of course no good for a steering stabilizer. You're gonna be constantly fighting against that shock trying to expand. So this is a very nice setup. It has kind of the best of both worlds between a nitrogen charged shock and a fully hydraulic shock. This is going to again install very, very easily onto that standard uh, factory inch and three eighths tie rod. So the first step in getting this bolted up is removing that factory steering stabilizer. You'll be able to remove it from both the axle side and from the tie rod side. Uh, over here, you're going to be able to install your new steering stabilizer, bolting it into place using all of the new hardware and the new bracketry that comes with it. This is a $240 steering stabilizer, which is maybe not the most expensive one on the market, but it's up there. This is expensive. It's very well built, it's very well put together, and it's absolutely going to work very well as a steering stabilizer. But I do want you to know that this is not going to be necessary no matter what your suspension setup is for 99.9% .9 of us. You can get away with a much less expensive OEM style steering stabilizer, regardless of your lift height and the tire size that you're running. So if you're looking for a premium steering stabilizer for your JK and you have the budget for it, I would definitely recommend taking a look at this one from Terraflex and you can find it right here at extremeterrain.com.